Hello, the enemy captain. Welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Advance. Let's play. Ah, at last, something new and irritating, if I remember uh, the uh, dreams that they appeared in. You might remember uh, Sion's dreams had uh, these creatures in. Or some of these pieces, anyway. Lunatius, I think, was their name. Anyway, I know it was quite unusual uh, last week because uh, last episode, because um, I cut out. A lot of the uh, fighting. Okay, I should not aim for the lizards. Anyway, I cut out a lot of stuff and um, I know it was it was a pretty short episode as well. I'm gonna hopefully make something more interesting here and uh, more exciting and um, I'm gonna be showing off more stuff. Hopefully, because hopefully there are more creatures here. Or creatures that I haven't fought. Anyway, I think that would be the best way to put it. But it looks like these are more creatures that uh, can block attacks. Um, so that's irritating. I've, uh, I've been thinking that, uh, I have no idea which, uh, game for this one up, if you see what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to be using Arise for the first time, that's probably not that interesting here, but I might as well tell you because um, I need to save something to make it uh, interesting to watch. So there you go. Well, they don't seem to be turning my characters into imps. So, uh, that's refreshing. I don't know what I, what's happened to Sabin. Well, it seems to have uh, stopped, whatever it is, so... Well, I could search these suits of armor to see if there's uh, anything... Uh, anything sort of on them, any items, but uh, I would be really surprised if there is, so... I think I'm just gonna... Uh, heal my characters here because it looks like we're about to fight Odin and uh, just uh, get on with it. I might, uh, might use ethers as well. Now this is hopefully both Odin and the dragon we're looking for, but, ah, no it's not the dragon we're looking for. Well, I know that dragon is here somewhere, uh, where did it leave the magicite? I'm a bit confused here. Did we get, yes, we got it automatically. Please all enemies in two. Ooh, I mean, it, it only has one attack here, but still, 
Um, that does sound pretty cool. Um, it, it requires a lot of magic, but, um, yeah. Okay, uh, if I remember correctly, there's supposed to be one room here that has the dragon in it. I just don't know what room it is, so I'm gonna have to search for it. Okay, this thing, um, you can use, uh, magic, you just can't use magic. Strange, but true. Still, it doesn't seem to be reusing that horrible attack it used earlier, so there's that, at least. And these are the highest, uh, forms of, uh, the magical attacks you can't use. Ah, it's a new room. That's good. Although I don't know how to get in there, it must be some way. That sounds side questy. Well, I suppose given uh, her background, as it were, it does uh, it does make sense for uh, her to have strong feelings about that. Mind of her uh, parents, if I'm right, if I'm remembering things correctly. Blizzard Orb, I can guess roughly what this does. Uh, see, that's for a Yeti, and we actually have a Yeti now, so um, that's quite useful. I believe we had another item for Yeti as well, so you know what a gold happen does. Or if you don't, well, then you don't. But uh, I, I have used one in the past. Okay, I've looked at a strategy guide now, and I can tell you what we need to do. I have no idea how you would work this out. Well, apparently in the Figaro library there is someone who tells you, um, who gives you a hint about this. But it's been a long time since I was last there, so I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Anyway, you go to the throne on the right and three, four, five, 
and press A, you have to press A or nothing happens. And it would have been useful if the strategy guide had explained that you have to press A or nothing happens, but it didn't. So there you go. Anyway, we, if we can, go down into here, and yeah, we've unleashed, we've uh, opened up this. I think you need to get the Queen Stally first, but since I'm showing you that anyway, I don't think it matters that much. Okay, here we go with the uh, dragon. The dragon, you would imagine that uh, water would be the main thing it does. And so let's try Libra and let's try Thunder because I figured Thunder is the opposite to water, so um it should probably work. But in case it doesn't as well. Okay, it is weak against lightning. Fair enough. I'm gonna give him re -rays. I'm gonna give him re -rays. Well, that sounds like a good idea. And Thandiga sounds like an incredibly good idea, so. But yeah, let's keep hitting him with thunder attacks, I bet ya. I doubt this will cause death, but I might as well try it. It might cause something. Up or not, I might have already gotten rid of this thing. This would be nice. Don't worry, by the way, I'm not gonna end the episode here. I've decided that this might as well be a long one because the last one was short and I wanna uh, I wanna get more stuff done. Or maybe you are worried, you know. Maybe you think actually I'm really tired of uh, these episodes, I wish they would stop sooner. If you're doing that, well, I guess, uh, I guess maybe the obvious solution would be to stop watching these. Not that that's what I want you to do, but, you know, it seems like the obvious solution if you're not actually enjoying this. It seems to be a frozen, uh, statue of the Queen. And this is an unusual thing, because as far as I know, this only happens to the Odin monster site. And it's Raiden. So, we never got to show off what Odin does, but as a magic site, but you know what? I told you what it does, even if I don't show you, and uh, if I hadn't done that, then, you know, it. Uh, we would never have gotten this, so... Um, wow, that has a high MP cost. Uh, so presumably you can target yourself with Quick. I'm, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to use that that often, because it just... 
it just needs so much power, basically. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's itself, I guess. Okay, I guess we'd, uh, we'd better get out of here now. Um, I am hoping that we can use some sort of item to get out of here. That would be really nice, I have to say. Nope, it looks like we actually used all of them on the uh, tower where we, uh, where they did no good. Because we couldn't escape from the tower even though we're using items that should let us do that. So I'm gonna, since this can randomly dispatch an enemy and we're gonna be fighting a lot of enemies as I slowly wait, make my way back, uh, I'm gonna give her that. Obviously I need to buy more items that let me escape from the dungeon. I suppose I'm not going to show off myself uh, getting out of here, because that would be very tiresome for you. I guess I will see you in a few minutes. Quick word about the enemies facing the chains. I'm fairly certain you've seen these enemies before, but still, I thought I might as well point out the enemies in the chains. And uh, also the uh, the accidental bunny attack, as I like the work that Setsar does, doesn't seem to cure him, even though it cures other stuff. So there you go. Okay, here we are back in the castle, and uh, you might remember that uh, we were on our way to somewhere, and I suggest that uh, we need to restart the engines and go to uh, the desert here, and then we need to go back from the desert to the place we were before, because that's where the airship is. So basically we need to go here in order to go backwards again. And there we go, there's the airship, so... Obviously there's a few things that I need to buy, so I need to find a town. Don't take it on. Just the usual healing items, basically. Interestingly, I accidentally went the wrong way, and if you do go in the desert, presumably just to make things harder for you, um, you can still hear the sound of the airship, which suggests that you're close to the airship, when, in fact, you're not close at all. So, I assume that's just to irritate people and confuse them. I mean, you're hearing it across a large body of water and on two separate land masses, basically. You're, you're a sea and a land mass away from where it is, and you can't possibly hear it from there. So, if the logic is that you would be able to hear it if it was close enough, that logic doesn't make sense.
This is nice. I'm not getting attacked by anything. It's quite refreshing, really. So, I'm gonna get a lot. I uh, I have a lot of uh, gill, and so I'm gonna get a lot. Now, I need to find location where they sell the things that will allow you to... Uh, run away from a, from a cave or from a battle and they'll be in uh, one of these towns and I'm gonna show you which one once I've had a look for it in the strategy guide. However, in the meantime, whilst I'm basically waiting for my internet to start working, I had the right idea when I was looking for death gates before in that you need to tilt the airship slightly to one side and that way you'll cover every square because uh, basically it's on certain squares um, but there's, there's no way to know which because the squares reset every time you land the airship and then take off again so there's no sort of map you can see there's no real way of knowing otherwise so the only way to do it is to make sure you end up going to every single square and I was I was roughly right uh, you just had it tilted at a uh, too sharp angle so that I wasn't in fact covering every single square so all I need to do is keep on doing this for a while, and eventually uh, I'll find death days. So I think we're going to try to find death days and uh, fight it again in this episode, and then go and uh, get this stuff. Aha! Here we go. Uh, sorry about the uh, info thing. Um, what I really need to do is use Libra, but. I'm going to have to wait until I get the uh, character who knows in person. Okay, what is this thing weak to? Unfortunately, it does leave uh, fairly quickly. So, but once I, uh, I know... I can start this dual cast. This is going to be very helpful. As you can see, it, uh, it slowly runs out, uh, so it, the amount of, uh, of damage it has doesn't reset, uh, it really does, uh, you really can slowly uh, wear it down over time, so that's what I suggest you should do. And uh, I think we're just going to keep on doing that for a while, because it doesn't disappear, you see, it's uh, it's still up here, um, on, uh, on the squares, you uh, have to wait until you uh, get to the right square, obviously, but um, you will find it on a different square on the map now, so it's just a matter of time. Aha! Again, um, I'm really sorry about the uh, rather quick uh, intro there. It's just that I'm making things easier for myself by uh, by speeding this up, uh, which is something you can do, obviously, with an emulator. And uh, well, the trouble with that, obviously, is that. Um, you you get this rather quick uh, intro, as it were, to Death Gate. So there we go.
I think it probably does attack just before it flees, as far as I can tell. But then again, maybe I shouldn't be hazarding guesses about this thing that I know where to be little about. Obviously it's only on one square at a time, one square of the map. This is why it takes a long time to find. Okay, there we go, and I would really like to, uh, to basically heal my characters, but uh, I'm not sure I really can, because uh, I would have to get up sort of on deck in order to do that, and uh, I'm not sure I can do that without uh, jeopardizing this. I don't know if that counts as... Uh, putting the ship down and then taking it back up again, so... Aha! Here we go! Again, uh, apologize for how quickly that, that happened. Same reason as before, really. I wonder how this thing is doing. I mean, it's the same to waste Libra, but... Um, I do wonder how this thing is going. Yeah, it looks like I'm running out of magic and D as well, so it might not actually be a bad idea for me to, um... to, um, heal my characters. And it doesn't actually make that much difference, so... Okay, I think we're just going to go to Massa and buy the uh, teleport stone. And if we happen to encounter it again, then obviously we'll fight it. But uh, if not, it just resets it. Uh, it doesn't make the, the creature never appear again. So uh, so we're just going to do that. And, uh, and then I think I'm just going to end the episode because I... I just have stuff I, I want to do with my day. But hopefully this has been more interesting than the last episode. You know, I, I feel we've gotten a lot done. Uh, but these uh, teleport stones are necessary, so... Okay, they don't have teleport stones, but they have smoke bombs which uh, do the same thing. So. And I am going to end the episode here. I will see you next time.